I know where hell is, and it isn't located on a diagonal street in Washington, D.C. and Prince George's County, Maryland. It is a little over 12 miles from my home and serves lies like bars serve whiskey. I found an ancient scroll in a mud puddle that I later learned is ascribed to Hell's Board of Directors. This list of guiding principles proves that Jezebel is not the only one out there without regard to the consequences of their actions. Every individual is personally greeted by name when they arrive. Is this before or after the employee hired to do the welcoming posts a hot selfie on social media? Cleanliness is of utmost importance and every employee is responsible for keeping the premises hospital clean? A murderer once told me that the voices in their head order them to kill. I think this hospital clean business is a hallucination inside the heads of this particular establishment's management team. Like the murderer who hears voices that are not there, these bosses see cleanliness that is not there. Maintenance issues that are visible to the customer are dealt with quickly? I think it is assumed that all the regulars need cataract surgery and can't see the damage. Why? Because there are scores of useful things that need urgent care to become operable again. We provide a fantastic service from qualified professionals? Do these qualified professionals include the employees who embellish their resumes with fictitious degrees and places of employment or drop the names of famous people like a hustler drops his drawers? All relations with these unnamed service providers are motivating and entertaining? A happy ending or hand job provided by the masseuse to the client at or towards the end of a massage is also stimulating and enjoyable. We take every opportunity to smile, make eye contact, and speak to patrons using their names whenever possible. A former employee never looked up from her smartphone during her shift, had absolutely no social skills, and could care less who or what walked through the door for service. Bigfoot or a suicide bomber could have opened the door unnoticed. Our staff wears uniforms and is proud to represent our brand through a professional appearance. Food stains and wrinkles must signify rating, qualification, or accomplishment. We strive to resolve customer inquiries at the first point of contact. I guess slipping a note under a manager's door counts as interaction number one. We say goodbye to customers as they leave the establishment. Don't let the doorknob hit you where the good Lord splits you. One last thing. There are at least two spelling errors buried in this list. How predictable is that?